you know, let's talk about failure is not an option there for a second. Now, Apollo 13, the Apollo program, used a launch vehicle called the Saturn V. The Saturn V was engineered to a 99.9% .9 reliability. It had six million separate components, which means that on a successful mission, they would only have 6,000 failures. Failure's not an option? Well, it sounds like 6,000 failures is very much an option. Now, the success of the Apollo program was down to lots and lots of incredibly smart people. And one of those people was this lady, Margaret Hamilton. She ran the team that wrote the software that took Apollo to the moon, the main Apollo guidance system. And uh, she has this wonderful quote. She was the first person ever to refer to uh, software engineering and systems engineering. And she said, you begin to think in terms of modeling all these things as one system. Part is software, part is peopleware, part of it is hardware. She was absolutely like, you are not going to give me a rocket and expect to install my software on it and off you go. We are going to be involved at every step of this process. The life support system, the hydraulic system, the guidance system, the computers, all these things will be evolved together in parallel. That way we can ensure that the system itself is going to work properly. 